Hey everybody. So I just wanted to rant a little bit about what happened in the past few days ago. Um, there was a hunter. His name is Michael Chedester. He lives in St. Clairsville, Ohio. And this is according to KTLA. I got the information from, but it's all over the news. You can find it anywhere. Um, but basically this guy, he was hunting in his tree stand and these dogs were in the woods and he freaking shot them. Now, you guys know I love animals. If you don't, now you do. <laughs> I love animals. I'm not a PETA freak. I do hunt. I do have livestock, but I believe that every animal should be, should be treated humanely, ethically, and this was neither of those things. This man killed two dogs that belonged to, I did not write his name down, but the dogs' names are Bella and Emmy, and I believe they were a, Do a Doberman and a Weimaraner. That's the picture I saw, so I hope that's correct. Anyways, he was getting ready to go to work, and the dogs got out. It happens. Yes, the dog should not have been out in the woods, but they got out as dogs do sometimes. And this asshole, Mr. Clark, or Mr. Michael Cheddarster, shot the dogs. And when they asked him why, he said he wanted to kill something. Really? This makes, this puts a bad light on all hunters. You know, people that are anti-hunting are going to use this guy. Uh, and say, well, the, you know, hunters are bad people and they just want to hunt to kill and they're bloodthirsty and everything else. And this is just, we need to set a precedent with this guy, okay? He's already been fired. He worked at a American Electric Power. He was a supervisor in a forestry job. Good. Thank you, American Electric Power, for taking this seriously. Um, so many times things like this are not taken seriously. They're not a big deal and they need to be. Because I don't know about you guys, but I love my dogs. My dogs are my kids. I don't have children. They're like my surrogate children. I treat them like dogs. They're, I don't like dress them up and push them in a stroller. Not judging if you do. But um, to me, a dog is more than just a dog. And to this man who lost his two dogs, those were his kids too. And I, my heart goes out to him. I'm just, we need to set a precedence, you guys, because shit like this should not happen. The man got out of his tree stand and from reports say that he took their collars as a trophy. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but if you're going to shoot an animal just to kill it, I mean, I wouldn't put it past the man to do that. The thing is, I feel like if you're going to take an animal's life, you need to respect that animal. Uh, use that animal and do something with it. Don't just kill it to f for fun. That is the most horriblest thing I can think of, is to kill something for fun. That just seems sadistic to me. Yes, I kill animals. I kill rabbits. I kill chickens. I kill deer. Uh, but there's always a reason for it. You know, I use meat... These animals are, they have a purpose for me. They're not just a sport. And even if you watch like hunting shows on the hunting channels on TV, like my husband loves to do, uh, the men that make these shows, they are trophy hunters and they do take the rack off the buck, but they donate the meat to food pantries. And so that animal isn't wasted. This particular incident where this man killed dogs for fun blows my mind that people are out there like this. This is the reason I will not take my dogs to for a walk during hunting season, the rifle season. Bow hunters seem like, I don't know, I hope that they're <laughs> better than this guy. I don't know. But I know it's for a fact that when I'm hunting in the woods, I am very sure of my target. I make sure that where I'm shooting, shooting, <laughs> where I'm shooting, if my, if my bullet doesn't hit the deer my, or my target, that it's going to go somewhere safe and it's not going to go into someone's house. It's not going to hurt anyone. It's not going to kill someone's horses, you know, anything like that. So I am very sure of where I'm shooting. I am also very sure of what I'm shooting at. I make sure that it's a, it's a legal, it's a legal deer. Make sure it's a legal buck. Make sure it's a legal doe in the correct season. This man puts so much bad press on hunters that it just kills me. It kills me because we're not all like that. So
certainly not me. I would never kill an animal that just for fun. I would certainly never kill a dog like that unless it was an imminent threat to my life, you know, or my other dog's lives. You know, I would never kill anything like that. <sighs> Has anyone heard this story? Like, how, how do you feel about this? Are you enraged like I am? I hope that it doesn't change your what your thoughts are on hunters because we're not all like that. This guy is a rarity. He needs to have his license taken away in my opinion. He needs we need to set a president, like I said. Set a president so that shit like this doesn't happen again or else there you know if it does and someone gets caught doing it, there are serious consequences to your actions. Now a man just lost two of his fur babies and they were his fur babies because he was taking them with him with him on a work business trip to Pittsburgh. Who does that? Only someone that really loves their dogs. So this guy is grieving. I mean, that's the other thing. People a lot of times don't give just not justice, but they don't respect the grieving process for someone that loses an animal. Yes, when your family members die or a friend dies, Yes, it's horrible and, and there needs to be a grieving process, but what about when your cat dies or your dog dies or your rabbit dies or whatever animal you have that strong personal attachment to? Hell, if it's a fish, you know, people get attached to animals and sometimes those animals are their life. So we really need to give more respect to people that are grieving an animal's lo an animal loss like a pet, you know, I'm ranting and I'm starting to not sound like I'm talking about anything. Okay. I'm going to go. <laughs> if you're still with me, thank you so much. Um, this is where I'm going to tell you about the giveaway. Yes. It's in a rant video. Why not? Uh, this will show me who really pays attention and stuff. So I'm going to start the giveaway today. As soon as this goes up, I will end the giveaway. <clears throat> You know what? I'm not even going to tell you. It's going to be in another video. But I think the, the prize is going to be, you know, I haven't even decided yet. I'm going to do three prizes. That's it. I'm going to do three prizes. If I say it now, then I'm stuck to it. Stuck to my word. So the first prize is going to be a $20 gift card to Dollar Tree. Second and third prizes will be a $10 gift card to Dollar Tree. That's, that's 40 bucks. You guys, I love you so much. So, you know, watch my videos, send me some love, you know, just send me a kind word. I don't want anything from you. But if you want to enter the giveaway, this is the video. So I want you to tell me if an animal has ever touched your life, if you have a favorite pet, just anything pet related that shows you love animals, your favorite animal. I don't care what it is, as long as it's that saying that you love animals, you are on my side when it comes to this bullshit with this guy who killed those dogs. Yeah. So just leave it in the comment below and I will get back to you on when it's, you know, you know, when it's, I'm going to draw the winner. Three prizes, you guys, a $20, a 10 and a $10 Dollar tree. That's 20 things for the first prize winner. Well, 19 plus tax. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Comment down below, favorite animal, favorite pet, anything like that. I just want to hear it from you. And I want to know that you're watching my videos and that you care what I have to say. Uh, those are the people that I want to, uh, I don't know, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, support. Support. Yeah. All right. This video is getting ridiculously long as per usual. I'll see you guys later and I'll see you on the YouTube. Bye.